What's up, everybody? Rob Banks from the Red Cup Review, and we're here at Shire Post Mint with um, Helen Marriage. <laughs> and what's your role in the company? I am the recently named CEO, our first CEO. Uh, there you go. Right. Right, right <laughs> Bravo, okay. bravo. So tell us about Shire Post Mint. So Shire Post Mint makes fantasy coins, primarily Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, Sky of Time, Code of the Barbarian. Do everything. Yeah. <laughs> Do everything in our shop in Arkansas using antique machines. Most everything here was made on a machine from the 1850s. Um, one of our machines actually came out of the Denver Mint. It was recently restored. So it used to make quarters on the 30s, and now it's making. Coins. These are real coins too, by the way. They're actually real brass, copper, um, I mean... Pure you know, silver, right? iron, steel, niobium, titanium. Yeah, we make coins in the most authentic way that we possibly can, even though it's more difficult. Oh, that's cool. Hey, listen, and then they even have inside their book here, you can see not only do they press the coins, but they also do hand etchings on them as well as part of the relief. Check that out. All right, so I want you to show us this this little spinner thing you were just showing me before. Yeah, so we have some precision tops that we make. Um, you can see this one is an Eisenhower dollar that we put a bullet case in and a little spin point. This guy will spin about 10 minutes. We also have cut out of the United States in solid copper. We found the midpoint. It's in Lebanon, Kansas, and this guy will spin for probably about five minutes. But one of our coolest is this one. It has this interesting pattern on it, but when you spin it and get some light on it, you can see... Oh it looks like the, they're spinning in different directions. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. And that's just a pattern that my brother figured out. Oh, a Jedi mind trick. Exactly. <laughs> very, very cool. And how that, long has the company been around for? Uh, my dad's been making coins for about 15 years. Um, he got licensed directly with George R. R. Martin in 2003. Oh, nice. So this is like official. This oh, is super official stuff. Super, super official. Super authentic. Super official. George R. R. Martin has every single one of our game coins. Nice. He'll give them away to fans. If you bother him too much, I'll give one to you oh and run away while you're distracted. Yeah, okay, that's cool. <laughs> so, hot tip. You know, you got, hey, there you go. You want one of these coins? You break George R. R. Martin stones and he'll give you a coin, all right? <laughs> Sounds cool. And this is, uh, I guess, like all the different types of stuff you have here as far yeah, as... Yeah, we have, you know, over 60 different products, so this is just a little selection. Some of our best sellers. Oh, we've got Lord of the Rings, too. All right, so to wrap up the video, how can people get your coins? You can go to shirepost.com. If you're in the U.S., you can go to Barnes & Noble. They have our Game of Thrones coins there. Go to Amazon. Cool, Etsy. so they can find you guys everywhere. Yeah, just search <laughs> Game of Thrones coins or Shire Post Mint. There you go, Shire Post Mint, Game of Thrones coins, and you guys can have this in your collection as well. Uh, how about the box? Is the box just for display? Purposes? Yeah, that's just our display box. Okay, cool. But it is pretty nice, though. I gotta tell you, it is nice. It is a very eye-catching display. All right. Thank you for joining us with the Shire Post Mint.